Hi friend, welcome to my channel. And today we will be making Haitian potato salad. Stay tuned. <music> Let's get this party started. Okay, so we're going to be using two eggs. We're going to be using two beets, one big one, one little one. You'll see the little one later on in the video. I know you see three carrots, but I decided to just use two instead of three. And then we're also going to be using four potatoes. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to wash everything. Okay, before we put everything to boil, we're going to wash everything. Um, potato salad, Haitian potato salad is you usually find it around Thanksgiving time. You usually find it in parties and sometimes moms just like to make it just because, okay, but it is so good. If you ever had it, I remember the first time I had Haitian potato salad. Oh my God. It was a party in my mouth. I loved every bite of it. Okay. This thing is so good to me. So anyway, here is how I'm going to make mine. I put everything in a pot and I'm letting it boil. boil. All right. Yes, everything is going to be done at different times because some things take longer to cook. My carrots are first up. They're done and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove them from the heat. OK, after I remove my carrots, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove my potatoes. And after I re um, remove my potatoes, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove my eggs. And lastly, but not least, I'm going to leave the beets in there so they could boil a little longer because they take a little longer to boil. If you want to cook everything separately, you can do that. But I feel like that's a waste of time because they're all going in the same dish. But if you have OCD or you just want to do it like that, then that's your business. You go ahead and you cook them all in a separate pot and then combine them later. All right. So now that everything is done cooking, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start removing the skin off of them. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to peel my potato and remove the skin off my potato. If you're in a rush and you want to cook this faster, you could also peel your potatoes in the beginning, cut them up and then put them to boil. They will finish boiling quicker that way it's up to you but I didn't want to do it like that all right and um, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean my carrots so I'm gonna clean my carrots by removing the skin it's so easy because the carrot is already cooked so taking off the skin of the carrot is like cutting butter it's so easy it comes right off as soon as I slip my knife in there I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull the skin right on back right on back and it's gonna slide right on out okay you don't got to do much work for this at all okay all right and do not forget i will have the exact measurements and the recipe for you in the description box below on how for you to make this the temperatures on what to cook everything on and everything all right all right all right um after i'm done with that i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to start um removing the skin off my beets okay you guys i also wanted to add that if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching if you don't like this video that's okay there's about 30 other videos on youtube on how to make haitian potato salad so you find one that you like and you go get happy all right all right all right so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove the skin off our beets and then when we're done removing the skin off our beets we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the shell from our eggs we want to do this last because you don't want no shells on your potatoes and on your beets and carrots and stuff okay so that is last okay and here is everything once they're done um being clean and all the skin is removed from them so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut them into smaller pieces. Um, I know you guys see me cutting this carrot on my hands. This is not safe. I do this all the time. I'm used to it and I don't hurt myself. But for you, I would recommend that you use a cutting board, as you see I'm doing now, to cut your ingredients okay do not get hurt and then try to blame it on me all right do not do that because i ain't my fault i done told you and you ain't listen all right so here we have our potatoes and we're cutting up our potatoes there's no right or wrong size for you to cut your potatoes some people like it really small some people like big chunks of potatoes in their potato salad baby you do whatever makes you happy okay you gotta stop living for other people and live for yourself child 
Okay, you cannot be doing stuff for other people because it make other people happy. You need to do what's right for you and what makes you happy. If having big slices of them potatoes is what make you happy, then baby, you go ahead and you put big slices of them potatoes in there. Can't nobody tell you anything. All right. All right. So here I'm done. I'm cutting up my eggs and I put my eggs in there. When I'm done cutting up my eggs, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut up my beets. Just like the potatoes. You could cut them how big you like and how or how small you like. It is totally up to you. You live your best life and you do whatever makes you happy. If you're in a rush when you're making this and you want to cut the beets separately, you could also um, peel and cut them up and put them to boil. But the only reason why I don't really recommend doing that is because it takes away some of that red color um, from your beets when you already cut up the beets and put them to boil okay uh, so but if it doesn't bother you and you know you yeah then you do it that way okay but it do take away from that okay so here i have a maggie and i have one tablespoon of water and what i'm going to do with that maggie is i'm going to turn it from a cube to a liquid form i just put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds okay and it's going to turn into a liquid form so here I have my bell peppers and onions. I'm using um, orange. I'm using yellow. All the colors. All the colors. Okay. You use whatever colors you want or whatever colors you have. Okay. It's all for a garnish. Okay. So that part. All right. So here I'm cutting up my um, onions. Okay. So when I'm done cutting up my onions, my bell peppers of all colors or whatnot, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a skillet and I'm going to put it on the stove. I'm going to put a little bit of oil, like one teaspoon of oil. We do not need that much oil. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our bell peppers and onion we're gonna let that cook a little bit you cook them how you like them cook baby if you like them all the way done cook them all the way done if you like them not all the way done then don't cook them all the way done and this is the maggie that i have that i turned into a liquid form i'm just adding that maggie right in there if you don't like to use maggie in your food and you feel like it's unhealthy or whatever your reason may be you could always use adobo or you could always use some other kind of seasoning okay so here i'm adding mine and then after that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my, um, my, um, my mayo okay you could use whatever brand you want baby the only reason why i'm using this brand because it Publix. when i went to go buy some mayo it was buy one get one free and who gonna pass up that deal so i picked this brand up because it was buy one get one free so ain't no right or wrong way type of mayonnaise for you to buy except if it's miracle whip miracle whip just ugh, it's not for me but if you like miracle whip baby, baby then go ahead you do that okay yeah, but it ain't for me all right so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna mix everything all together if you feel like you want to add some salt and pepper, you can. If you feel like you want to add, I don't know what you want to add. You go ahead and you add it. But me, mine is that's, that's all I need. I don't need nothing else because the flavor's already popping to me. It tastes good to me. I don't need nothing else for my liking, okay? And boom, there you have it. Haitian potato salad. Hoochie, yes. Yes, shy. And they don't get no better than this. You bring this to the Haitian cookout and everybody's going to be asking who made the potato salad, baby. Everybody going to be over there looking pretty, crossing your legs, <laughs> laughing, grinning, smiling from ear to ear because, you know, you made that fire ass potato salad. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>